Hello everyone. This is the second section of our fuse expression series and today we create a clock. Okay, so everybody know that there is a relation between all hand of the clock. Okay, for example, uh, minute relate with hour, minute relate with second and all these things. Okay, so first of all, uh, we have to understand the logic behind or mathematical relation between these hands as well as I am going to show you how you create this sweeping movement of the second using expression okay so first of all we understand the logic behind clock okay so here everybody know that the clock is completely 360 degree okay one hour has 30 degree and one minute has six degree because we have 60 minute in one cycle so 360 divided by 60 is equal to 6 degree so one minute has 6 degree and this 360 degree complete and 30 degree for one hour okay so a simple logic say that for example when minute rotate 360 degree Okay, so for example here I have R end so when this minute hand rotate 360 degree this can be rotated only 30 degree so my logic says that when minute is rotated 360 degree or hand rotate only 30 degree so how we get the logic between this so what am I going to do I just multiply this thing with one factor and is equal to 30 so now my x the common logic behind that is 30 divided by 360 and that is 1 divided by 12 so the logic is say that whenever you divide your minute rotation value with 12 it give you rotation of R okay so let's restart infusion I just stop here I just import one PSD file so I do not need this this is my minute hand this is my R hand I just rename this thing by pressing F2 so for example this is body F2 minute and F2 R and this is second okay and I merge all these things so here I got this composition okay now I just apply transform node okay and I rename this thing also for example F2 minute f2 sf r and f2 sf second okay now here i just 120 frame now here i apply animation on my minute hand so i just right click over here animate 
and rotate minus 360 degree okay because we want this thing to clockwise direction and fusion calculate these things in negative with negative value okay so here the minute rotate 360 degree so now I just select these two transform property I click on R in angle I right click here add expression I remove these things I just select this peak hold for some time on minute property and just drag to angle so here I got fx minute dot angle so right now both rotation has same value so now our logic said that we have to divide this minute rotation by 12 so I get R rotation of R so I just divide this thing with 12 and now you see like that now someone say that I want to start my time at 2 o'clock right now it's 12 o'clock so here is 0 degree this is minus 30 degree this is minus 60 degree so here I just add minus 60 plus these things so now as you see by default it's 2 o'clock and then we rotate these things and we got 1 hour so now I just change in my minute animation for example minus 720 degree so I got these things ok now we start with second so for uh, to understand second properly I just reduce my animation in minute for example I just apply minus 6 degree that is 1 minute only now you see that when minute rotates 6 degree that is 1 minute the second rotate full cycle so we have 60 minute in one cycle so when this minute complete its one cycle second rotate 60 times so now I just select both this thing I go to second right click over here add expression and just again I relate these things with minute angle and I just multiply this thing with 60 now you see it's complete one minute but as you see we need this kind of animation sweeping moment okay so for that what am I going to do here I have this value okay now everybody know that there is 6 degree between this so now I just show you some functions that work in fusion expression and here is the list you can find out this PDF file in help file so here I use this matte ceiling what is does returns an integer which is the value of n rounded up to the nearest hole for example I show you the thing for example I just put one transform and here I add some expression like this and for example here I write matte dot 
CIL that is ceiling and for example I write 5.3 so it's give me the value 6 for example here I write 5.9 it's also give me a round figure for example 5.2 same thing now if I write here floor then it's give me 5 value so basically mat dot ceiling and floor gives you the round figure of that particular value whether it is on top or bottom of your value so here we use these things for that uh, sweeping moment okay so for that what am I going to do first of all I divide I just put these things in one bracket I divide these things with 6 so I got value like this I also reduce the animation for example minus 2 degree so now you see here I got floating value so what am I going to do just put this value in mat dot ceiling bracket and we have to close that bracket like this so now I get value of let's see minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 there is no float value okay now what I am going to do just multiply these things with again 6 so now you see minus 6 minus 12 minus 18 minus 24 and this thing. so now you get that sweeping moment Okay, so hope you like this session too. See you soon with session 3.